Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're doing Arrow the Acrobat review for the Super Nintendo. And let me turn to the top of the page and we'll do that. Um, in this game you play as Arrow, a bat that can't fly for some odd reason. He works in a circus and it is your job to avoid the killer clowns and other enemies while uh, getting the stars in the allotted level. It's a fun game, but it's hard to master. Um, I will rate it based off these form factors, as I've only gotten through the prequel level because it uses passwords, and I never write down the passwords. Um, fun level design, 4.5. Well, sorry, fun level, 4.5. Level design, 5.0. Character design, 4.5. Responsiveness, 4.8. Music, 4.5. Out of 5 points, 4.7. And I recommend that you buy it because it is a fun game. It is a hard game, but then again, so are so many of the other Super Nintendo games uh, getting back into it 20 years later. So, I recommend that you buy it. It is actually a fun game. And it is worth the amount of money that I paid for it. I got my $9 worth out of it. And, yeah, you can go to any game store. It's very abundant uh, in classic retro game stores. You can probably find it for between $5 and $9. I paid a higher price because I actually went to a movie rental store to buy this. But... That's what you get. You get what you pay for, and I paid for a fun time. Now, that being said, it is a challenging game. Getting the Mastering the mechanics of the game takes a lot longer than modern games, especially with modern games having a tutorial lesson. This has a tutorial level, but it doesn't tell you any of the mechanics of the game in the level. For that, you either need to go to GameFAQs to learn the controls, or you need to go to, like, Amazon and buy the manual for this sucker, because the, the controls on this have different input types, and the different input types either allow you to jump further, do somersaults in the air after you jump from a uh, trampoline, has different things that you can do. My problem is, is I miss jump the platform and then end up hitting a killer clown and losing a life, which your life bar is also a star bar. So if you lose one star every time you lose a life, and it's one of those things that you have to have it at three stars throughout the level to get a hundred percent. Well that hardly ever happens. Also, the stars that you collect are actually point meters to, and once you hit the score of the level, which between is between 25k and 10,000, or sorry, 2,500 points for the first level to 10,000 for the final level. There's only 13 levels. And you have to get enough stars to fill each of those point meters. And this point meter resets every single level. So you're looking at 100 points per star. And you have to collect every single star in the level in order to move on. And the enemy AI is at random. So it's a fun game challenging because they did throw a randomizer into the enemy design and you can't fight the enemy until you get a slingshot which doesn't come until the third level so you're gonna have to avoid the enemies for the first three levels but other than that if you get past the first three levels it's a fun fun game this has been my review of arrow the acrobat please like comment subscribe and i will see you next video.